but I think we ought to explain first of all that uh, you were a tube train driver. Yeah. And now you do voiceovers for all the big movies mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, so tell us a story. How did you um, start off as a tube it's driver? It's not your career change. No, it's is not. It? And yeah, now you're real. the sexiest voice in the world. Well, what happened was I was driving a train, really loving every minute of it, and uh, I made an announcement at Oxford Circus. Yeah. Uh, what was the end? Do you remember the announcement? Uh, the, you know, something really exciting like mind the doors. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, this guy got off the train, tapped on the window, and he said, Hey, you got a really great voice. And so I said, Yeah, great, thanks. Uh, he said, Do you have an agent? I said, Yeah. He took my number. Uh, and this guy happened to be like the vice president of the Sci Fi Channel. So it's just oh, like wow. a fairy story. Yeah. Isn't it, really? And the next day he called me up and basically said, uh, We want you to be the corporate voice of the sci-fi channel and uh, I thought about it for a hell of a long time <laughs> and, uh, and basically the rest is history yeah the rest is history but it's, uh, it's a big future ahead as well isn't it yeah, yeah you, you were driving along on the tube weren't you one time mm -hmm. and obviously you're aware that you've got one hell of a voice thank you <laughs> <laughs> what did you do because didn't you just play some kind of wily e. coyote prank on um, uh, Halloween can you just run us oh that? yeah Halloween night that was some fun uh, you know, I'm a person who I, I like to live a little, and uh, it's pretty boring doing the job. So I stopped the train in between stations. And this on is Halloween. Halloween night. Oh no! And, uh, what about someone I, coming up behind you? I mean, wait, it's wait. fun, fun and death, isn't Go it? On. Yeah, but Go on. but you know what I'm saying. I stopped the train in between stations. I turned the lights off, and uh, <laughs> you and drink I, a lot. And I said, yeah, for real. And I said, uh, <laughs> this is your driver speaking, or is it? And, uh, <laughs> And like, you know, a lot of guys laughed, but the ladies screamed and hollered and uh, really? when, when, when I got to the next station, uh, the guys got out and said, yeah, nice one, mate. And, but like the ladies, you stupid bastard. And, uh, you know, oh. it was good fun, but I got disciplined for it. But uh, hey, that's how it goes. So, so, I mean, in your adolescent days, you know, puberty and all that, yeah. did uh, your voice sort of suddenly change? And were you right pipsqueak? Little voice like that. And all of a sudden, you got loads of girlfriends. Oh, uh, literally, <laughs> it actually changed coming down the stairs. It was like, good morning, mom. It just, <laughs> it just kept going up and down all day. And, but you know, the girls love it. I mean, all the girls yeah. in here, we're all salivating on the spot. I mean, you must have a right royal choice of girlies. Well... I'll take a rain check on that, right? When you're, when you're in the throes of passion, though, do they kind of say, for God's sake, Red, please say something else, even if it's just reading what's on the back of your head? Anything. Oh, uh, well, uh, you know... I, Read uh, the condom box out of me, Red, uh, please. Uh, the thing is, it's like you pick up the telephone and people think you're, like, 90 years old, you just come out the coffin or something, this real big, deep voice, but, you know, it's just uh, one of them things. It happened when I was about 14 and... That's one of those things. It just happened like that. Yeah, it's you know? amazing. I mean, uh, I mean, what do you hope to do? I mean, obviously you're doing really well at the moment, but I mean, what what are you sort of future? Well, aspiring? well, luckily for me, uh, because of my voice, I've been signed up by one of the most uh, successful agencies called Speak, and they've got me so much work, uh, even acting work, etc. Uh, people would have it that I'm going to Hollywood. Yeah, bring it on. Yeah. But uh, you know. God you're a looker happen. as well, you see. You've got all. Jenny, stop it! You like that? Sorry, but you know, you, you're a looker. You're mm -hmm. tall. Yeah. You're dark. You're yeah. handsome. You've got great. Do you remember Me that? Too. I mean, I love this girl. I mean, but I mean, you know, can, can you just can you just whisper a few sweet nothings or something? You forget about him. Yeah. Well, I was thinking like the first time I met you, the very first time I met you, you look so good. Really? I love you, Jen, baby. look! Yeah. I, love I was you. there! I was there! About five minutes ago! Yeah, but she's better looking than you. Yeah. She really <laughs> about five minutes ago, I was there! <laughs>